Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Joni with This Busy Mama, and today we are heading into a different Goodwill to give us a change of scenery and see what we can find to flip for a profit. piece was very interesting. The shape of it was different from anything I've seen. I'm not sure what this is and I didn't have my glasses so I couldn't read what it said and I still can't read what it said in this video so if you know what this thing is leave me a comment down below and let me know what it was. This was a nice piece of chalkware, but I don't think for the price that I would have much room for profit on there. This, however, was only $2, and I'm pretty sure I can make a profit on this one. It's $1.99, and it winds. This is Toscany. This is the same maker that um, made that decanter I just bought. <laughs> As is world's best mother.
is a little honey dispenser, but it didn't have the little cup that it's supposed to sit in. I'm always on the hunt for the Lucite grapes and the Glassy Baby candle holders, but no luck today. Wall pockets do pretty good for me, but these don't really look too vintage to me, so I left them. I know. These? Yep. No, here's the one. Part of it. Whole set's here. Those are not marked, I don't think. No. So I think they're about the same thing, but that's 46. That's the only piece there is. Yeah, yeah, it's got a chip on the bottom. It's still a little icy. I didn't really look because you told me now. This one's half off. This mm. might be the other part of it. No, that one goes to that one, I think. This, this one and this one. Yeah, they do. But they're not marked either. They're half off. They may be marked. I need my knife. I don't have it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not large. I see this teapot everywhere. Uh huh. How did I miss that beautiful wall pocket? Why didn't I pick that up to see? <clears throat> what that was.
This is cute. I don't think it's worth five dollars though. Huh. I really liked this, but I didn't like having to ship it. When you add shipping for larger items, people are discouraged by the price and are deterred from buying. So I try to stick with smaller things most of the time. Look at this tish box. My God, that thing's heavy. <clears throat> That lid does not go to that. Is it fruit? Fruit something? No. I almost picked this up, but I wasn't really sure about that wood grain contact paper look, and then it had the damage on the front, so I passed. Don't let him walk away with it. marked and and this is supposed to be in there that's original to it I just don't know it's kind of scratched up it's um it can be polished but I can't read what it says I can Newport something
It's silver plate, yeah. I just, it's not a blue tag. <laughs> You're a better person than me. <laughs> I know. Look, a pizza pan. <laughs> Curious George. I know, I just picked up. It's modern. It was a popcorn tin. Wow, what are these? Brutalist candle holders. Tarnished silver has really been catching my eye lately. This is Luster Rose by Imperial Glass and it goes for about $25 all day. Jeez. We were $9.29 for that. It's not a highly sought after piece. Oh, oh, look at that bunny on a nest. I will take that. I think it's flash too, though. Look, that's a pretty crappy flash yeah. job. Yeah. That's a good price on that. Is the sticker twelve twenty nine? <clears throat> I've been keeping an eye on the figurines lately because I had just picked up a Joseph's Originals little boy and a dog figurine a couple weeks ago and it sold in a day for $60, so I keep watching for those. So we made it back 
from our shopping trip and I am going to give you a little rundown of all of the stuff that we picked up today. We had a pretty good haul and there's also a few things that you didn't see in the video that we went to the hospice store close by here and picked up a few Christmas items very, very cheap. So the first thing that you probably saw in the video was um, this Berman Anderson wind up music box and it plays Brahms lullaby and it's just a little girl in her little nightgown. They're sitting on a pillow and a little teddy bear <clears throat> and it does work. And I paid $2 for this and it is listed on my website and in my Etsy shop for 20 <clears throat> Next, we have this little left-in bloomer girl. She is cooking on her little cook stove there. There's a little kitty down at the bottom and her bloomers are showing. <laughs> And it is marked on the bottom or stamped. There we go. And I paid $2.29 for this. And I was going to list it for $30 until I noticed her neck is broken and has been repaired. You can see it there. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but yeah, all the way down her back. So she is listed for 15. Next, I found this beautiful, this is so cottage core, has a little pink rim, this mixing bowl, and this is Victorian Flowers by Sarma Studios Japan. Very nice mixing bowl. There's no crazing. There are some marks inside from use, but no chips, no cracks. It's in perfect condition. I paid $5.09 for this and it is listed for $25. Um, then we have this bunny planter and it's got this like flow blue the flow blue, flow blue <laughs> flowers. So that was really hard to say. It has the flow blue flowers and eyes, and it's got polka dots. And it has a sticker on the bottom that says "Made in Brazil." And I paid a dollar seventy for this, and it is listed for eighteen. Now we're moving on to the stuff that I picked up at our local hospice store. Um, everything Christmas was 50% off. So I, you get really good deals there to begin with, but then when it's 50% off, it's even better. So I found this little drummer boy and the log holds a candle and that is more than likely the original candle that came with this and on the bottom it is marked 1979 and it says Verona Vergasi is designed by Ver Verona Vergasi and if I had my glasses on I could read the rest of this but it is made in Taiwan is the rest of what I can read so he's really cute little drummer boy candle holder it is it feels like bisque actually but I don't know porcelain bisque um I paid 50 cents for him and he is listed for eight dollars so, I also picked up this little mr. and mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers Sorry that there is a little bit of a shadow there. The sun is coming through my front door. But Santa's holding a bell and his little sack and Mrs. Claus has some presents. They do have their stoppers. Now the white is yellowing a little bit. So, but 
these are like a hard plastic and they are made in Taiwan and I paid 50 cents for them and they are listed for $10. Yes, the next I found this Santa candle. He's pretty cute. He's got, um, well, you can't really tell. You can't see all of it, but he is holding a candy cane. He's in pretty good shape. His face has a little bit of scuffing. His nose has some of the color come off of it. But I paid 25 cents for him and he's listed for $8. And then I have another little one. You can see the size difference here. The big one is four inches and the little one is three inches. Same thing, he's in pretty good shape. Just a tiny little bit of loss on his nose. But he is, I paid 25 cents for him and he is also listed for $8. Um, next I have this little Napco um, Bone China Bell. I thought I just spilled a chip, but I could not. Little Bone China Bell. And it has like the little spaghetti here and around his hat. And it's in good shape. It is missing some paint, the gold paint on the bell, and his hat, the spaghetti, has some like cracks in it, but I'm pretty sure that that is original because there's paint down in there, so I think it's just the way that it was manufactured. And then it's got the little bone kind of hanger in there. But I paid 25 cents for him and he is listed for 10. And I also found these little Mickey Mouse Disney. He's got the little blue and red mixing bowl. These are salt and pepper shakers and they are made in Japan. They've got their stoppers. I paid a dollar for these and they are listed for 20. Now these next ones are Jasco Bisque Bells and there's four of them. I'll pick the other ones up here in just a second. I'll show you these first. Little bear holding a cupcake. Little, she looks like a little bear Mrs. Claus. Um, like her little Stuff needs to be glued back down on the back it looks like but and her little feet dangle and then there's also these two and these all come together a little puppy with his little scarf thing and I'm not sure if that's on right or if that should be on his back maybe I don't know but this one here is flocked. It's not like super fuzzy, but you can feel it. And he also has little feet that dangle. So you get all four of those for 25. I paid 50 cents for the whole bag full of them and I'm just selling them as a lot for 25. So that is all that we have and it's going to give you a total here but I also included in my little green and pink dish from last week so that is included in what I had totaled up here. But anyways with that we had a total spend of $17.72 between the two stores and we are looking at a projected profit of $174. So this was a pretty good day. All right, so I just wanna thank you guys for watching. And if you're new, um, hit that subscribe button 
So also the bell beside it so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.